Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we escaped from the infirmary. Uh, it was an okay puzzle up until that last safe password, which is a bonus one. I, I still don't really get it. Hopefully someone in the comments or someone, another friend has uh, explained it to me later <laughs> after the, the video came out. Um, yeah, and then after that, we were able to skip some scenes here and there, but basically, we are back in the AB room, and we're playing against Henmyoji, and now I have the choice of ally or betray. Honestly, because like I said, I, I know what I have to do for this route. I am forced to do something I wouldn't like to do. Normally, I would really just like to be peaceful and ally with everybody, but uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen this time. Can't trust him, man. Alrighty. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. And some stuff they just don't Thank let you skip. You for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. It's fine I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tenmyoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? You chose betray, huh? That's messed up. Hey, don't judge me! You would have done the same! What? You said I should! Hey, I didn't say that. I just asked you a question. Uh -huh. What would happen to our BP if Ten Miyoji chose to betray us? It was a leading question. <laughs> you a little smartass fi. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with you. Mostly love. Ooh, I get it. You don't want the responsibility. I was wondering why you were so happy to let me choose after you lost in rock, paper, scissors. You were planning to use me as a scapegoat all along. Was I? Yes, you were. Damn it. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Ziggy! Fido! Yes, we're coming. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Yes. Anyway, we need to go have a look at the results first. Come on. Hey, wait. Shit. <laughs> Here we go. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Rock! <laughs> If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here we go. You know Dio's gonna betray Alice. But Oh, they betrayed Luna. <gasps> he allied! No! <laughs> oh no! I feel bad now! Oh snap! I thought he was gonna betray for sure! Man, all across the board, the duos were screwing over the solos. Oh my lord, I feel bad. <laughs> oh, but I had to do what I had to do. Ah, oh, this sucks. I'm sorry, Vera. Here are the results from your game. I'm so shocked. Normally, with your personality, I think you'd betray people. But I have a feeling... If we had allied, he would have betrayed. So <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh, man. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Yikes. Get ready for a very angry old man. I got betrayed? Uh, sorry. I just... I told him you might choose betray. Oh, she's actually defending us. Fine. You? Wow, okay. I can't believe you. 
I'd never choose betray. Yes, you would. You have in the. You totally have, dude. I, I don't. Whatever. I trusted you two. I'm sorry. And this is what I got. Ah. I apologize. Fine. You don't need to apologize. I was the one who did it. I pushed the button. Oh. Yeah. I guess you've got a point. <laughs> She's still. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Bye, darn it! It's Sigma's fault. You want to blame someone, blame him. What the hell, Phi? Bah. What, you're gonna fight each other now? I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never trusting either of you again. Yeah. This isn't over. Yeah. Just you wait. Ooh. <laughs> what you gonna do? He's like, I know where that, that injection gun that I made you leave behind is. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Angry old man! I tried to think of something to say before I could come up with the right words, but he's gone. I spun around. Fi! What the fu- She was gone too. Where'd you go? <laughs> Gah, what the hell? How'd she just disappear like that? As I looked around the room for Fi, I noticed that Clover, K, and Luna seemed to be having some kind of an argument as well. I moved closer and did my best to listen surreptitiously <laughs> to Snoop. Why did you do it? Aw, poor Luna. Sorry. I guess I wanted to get out of here as soon as possible, you know? I apologize, but I felt the same way. Oh, Luna. But if we all choose Ally, then we could all escape together. Yeah. It only takes three turns to get six points. That would be enough to get us out. Why? Well, of course we know that. But if we betray, then it's... faster. If your opponent chooses ally, and you choose betray, then you gain three points. Do that twice, and you get six points. It's just evil. You see? If you ally, then you have to play the AB game three times. But if you betray somebody, you only have to do it twice. It's just so ridiculous. What? Why are you acting like that's the right thing to do? I almost feel like you're blaming me or something. We aren't trying to blame you. You guys are but, just a mean, If you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose betray? But you saying that just means that everybody's gonna start just betraying each other and then you're not gonna make any progress at all. That's what's so dumb with all of you. Dumb. Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. Walked off with her head buried between her shoulders. Her back trembled as if perhaps she were crying, but I couldn't see her face. No, my waifu! Alice, Dio, and Cork, however, seem to be having some issues of their own. Well, it's Dio, what do you expect? Hmm. <laughs> Fine. You just wait. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. Oh, stop blaming him! Why are you blaming me? Jerk. <laughs> they exchanged dark looks and stomped off in different directions. Yeah, Alice gets screwed over no matter what, doesn't she? Her and Tamioji were screwed over last time. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said. Explanations, yes, about people dying, scary, no. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tamioldi, or, or Alas, or Moni, or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. I'm sure, I mean, I'm curious if there's ever going to be a round where nobody's in danger in the beginning, where everybody allies across the board. Like, how is that possible with Dio around, you know? So I'm just like, very curious, I don't remember. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Yeah. Uh, I see. Explanation. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? Yep. This isn't. It sucks. Yeah. 
colors changed. It's magenta now, so who am I with? Am I with Kay again now, or somebody else? Mine's magenta too. Oh, I'm with Clover. Okay. Me too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. Looks like Clover and I are still pairs, though. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Mm. Still a solo. Looks like I'm cyan. I'm a cyan pair. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pear and the color cyan. When did they change? Bah. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, flashback time. While everybody goes around exploring. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. Yeah. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, I needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head, stood up straight, and headed off. Hmm. If it's not Alice and Dio, then... Nope. Ah, Sigma. <laughs> What was that? What was with that reaction? Rude! You rude ass! <laughs> oh, I can't stand you. Uh, although I have to agree, um, one of you said that you enjoy his voice acting and his personality even though it's evil. Uh, he's a fun character. He's a fun person to hate, that's for sure. Another dude. This place is turning into a real sausage fest. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> What, you gonna be a pervert all of a sudden? You'd like a lady around? What are you telling me for? Oh yeah, you were one of the first people in here, weren't you? Yeah, so? Well, did you notice anything? No. Although I guess I did notice that the sofa's pretty comfortable. <laughs> uh, okay, how about something more useful? I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dio, what's this? <laughs> that? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Stop trying to corrupt my son. He's like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, forgot. That was the other path. Oh, come on. It's about astronomy. Can you even read? Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? <laughs> Different strokes, I guess. It appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. <laughs> December 31st, huh? That's six days from now, right? Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it is. Depends on how long I was out after they hit me with that gas, I suppose. Hey, Kay. Your team went to the crew quarters, right? Did you find anything? Nothing of interest. You'd better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least, nothing that could help us escape. Okay. There was a book about a cat, though. Ooh, kitty. A cat? What, so now Zero Senior is a crazy cat lady? <laughs> Just what the hell are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Well, it's more useful than how comfortable the sofa is. Wow. Hey, the sofa's comfort level is very useful. Um... What? The number one ship of this LP shall be Dio and the sofa. <laughs> I think you must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for... Uh... Cat ladies. Oh. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Yes, that familiar term. We haven't gotten to get to the crew quarters yet, but when we do, we'll understand. Uh, I don't really give a shit about the breed, genius. Anyway, I'm a dog person, if you couldn't tell. No, couldn't tell. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? <laughs> 
Don't tell me. The cat dies at the end. Who fucking who? Oh. Fine. Never mind. <laughs> Poor Kay. I just wanted to share a story, you jerk. Just as I was about to open my mouth and tell Kay that I cared about what he'd found, even if Dio didn't, Luna and Fi appeared. Hello, lovely ladies. Oh, hello, Sigma. So this is where you were. Did any of you find anything? <laughs> nope. That's squat. You were looking, though, right? <laughs> hey, answer me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we weren't wasting time. I was just asking them what they'd found. And? Nothing. Useless. What about you, Sigma? You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. It'd take too long to explain. Just have a look at this. I dug the paper out of my pocket and handed it to Luna. Oh. It looks like a piece of newspaper. Yeah, we found it in the infirmary safe. The headline says, Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? What is Radical 6? Just read the article. Okay. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Oh, I love your voice. It's so soothing. A cold silence fell over the room. For several long minutes, no one spoke. It was Kay who finally broke the spell. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that clipping mentions? Uh, I believe that's a possibility, dude. Then, you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 virus? I don't know. It doesn't really fit. I mean, none of us have shown any kind of symptoms, right? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. My body feels kind of weird, too, now that you mention it. That's probably just because you were asleep for so long. Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? Yeah. It just doesn't add up. The order's backwards. Maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. True. How's that make any kind of sense? Besides, you found that article in the safe, right? That means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. Why would Zero do something like that? Mm. So that we'd think this place is a quarantine facility. Why? So that we'd think what Zero wants us to think. Okay, you have a point, though. How do you mean? This thing is just a... a prop. Something to set the scene. Zero's trying to freak us out. That article is a fake. Maybe. You got a point. If it was real, why cut it out? Just leave the newspaper with the article circled in red pen or something. Right? <laughs> that lazy son of a bitch. Probably too much of a pain in the ass to fake a whole paper. <laughs> what does the other side look like? The other side? Oh, uh, hold on. It's black. Ah, oh, that is suspicious. See? There you go. Why would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? Some sort of full-page ad with a black background. No. Bet you money an article like this was front-page news. It's too big of a story. And I really don't think they put full-page ads in the back of the front page. Exactly. Even I know that, and I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. I used to um, always hate the smell of newspapers, so I was never a big fan of them, and I'm really glad that <laughs> I don't have to encounter them anymore. I know they still exist, um, but the people who read them are very few. If Zero Senior really wanted to trick us, why not go all out? Only an idiot would fall for this. It's pathetic. Am I right or what? I suppose you do have a point. Yes. 
Yes, I agree. Besides, I don't remember ever hearing any news about a new pandemic. It was really killing hundreds of thousands of people. I'm pretty sure that would have been on the news or something. You're right. We would have heard about it. Hmm. Okay. Can we go? Alright, let's have a look around. See if we can find anything else. Good idea. I'll be off then. What about you guys? Consensus seemed to be that they intended to remain. Okay. See you all later. With a wave, I made my way to the exit. Where to next? I just wish we could skip all of this because, of course, we already know all this information. Ah. <sighs> But alas, that's what happens when you replay from the beginning, unfortunately. So, if you guys um, want to skip to the end of this episode, you can. <laughs> I don't know, there might be some new tidbits, though. Alright, who's here? Oh. Mm, Sigma. Uh, hi, I know you're mad at me, but hi! What do you want? What do I want? What, you think I'm here to play doctor? Only if you're secretly Clover. <laughs> oh, you pervert. Tell you what, how about I'll be the doctor? You get on the exam table, and I'll cut you open with that scalpel over there. Yikes. No need to be so violent. Man, are you still piss? What the hell do you think? My VP's down to one thanks to you. Come on, I already told you I was sorry. Yes, and that makes it all better. You goddamn idiot! Well, then what the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Piss off. Seems like I'm already doing that. Well, you don't know the half of it. Just get out of my sight. Easy solution, then. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Leave before I make yours black. <laughs> oh. The last guy I fought went home in an ambulance. Shouldn't have picked a fight with the paramedic, then. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, so sassy, Sigma. Fine. Shook my hands in my pockets and looked around the room. We already were here earlier, so... So, is it just you here? On this side of the divider, yeah. This side? Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... <laughs> You're really gonna make me say it? Oh, the lady who was murdered, you mean? Yeah, we've been acting kind of weird ever since we found her. Why is that? Oh, what? Isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the hell doesn't get a little freaked out? Uh, what ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. Hell, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. It's just because we've got a lot of other stuff to think about. Can you blame them for being a little single-minded? They're trying to escape from a game that's just made it clear it has no problems killing them. Oh, just trying to survive, huh? Yeah. Then don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think much, do you? Yeah, I agree, actually. Y'all should be worried about who killed her. I'll bet you a pound of neodymium. The bastard who grabbed us is the same bastard who killed her. Who else could it be? If Zero is one of us, then you're saying one of us murdered the old lady? Yeah. I'm hoping you guys didn't fast forward this part just because it's really different with the whole uh, Tenmyoji interaction. <laughs> you saw it too, right? The person in the gas mask? Yeah. Did you notice anything? Uh, not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. Me and Quark. What? You and Quark were grabbed together? Yeah. Yeah, we were. Is he your grandson? So what if he is? Why do you want to know? That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. But what if it does? Maybe it'll shed some light on something else. I'm pretty sure it won't. Why is that? Quark's got nothing to do with this. So it's got something to do with you then? God. Mm. What is it, goddammit? <laughs> what do you want? Why don't you just leave me alone? Because you're suspicious. Wait, what? There's nothing suspicious about me. 
All right, tell me this then. When and where did Zero Senior abduct you? Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna tell that to someone who betrayed me. All right, fine. I'll just ask Quark. Quark! Hey, stop it! Oh. Quark! Don't tell him a damn thing! Whoa, you're getting more suspicious by the... I started toward the partition as I spoke, with the intention of finding Quark. Uh-oh. I found him as I rounded the divider, but... Oh, no. He was just standing there, a blank, slightly confused look on his face. Well, things just changed, all right. <laughs> oh, good way of uh, changing things up so that I don't get bored. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, hey, Quark? You alright? Can you hear me? Huh? Oh no, he definitely has it then. What? Is something happening? I turned to look at Tenyoji. He looked back, confused. Weren't you listening to our conversation? Y yeah you were just talking so fast. I couldn't really understand. Uh-oh. Fast? My head felt kind of foggy, and I couldn't really make out what you were saying. Mm. <sighs> I'm fine now, though. Whatever it was seems to be gone. Are you sure you're okay? I think I'm just tired. Being stuck in this place is pretty exhausting. And... and... He glanced at the bed in the back of the room. On it lay the body of the old woman. What? Tenyoji! What the hell were you thinking? Don't let Quark be alone with a dead body! You can't let Quark back here! Huh? Oh yeah, right. Quark! Get over here. It's too late, dude. Um, anyway. Are you really sure you're okay now? Yeah. Maybe Luna should have a look at you. Supposedly, she's some sort of doctor. I said I was fine. Gosh, Grandpa, you're such a worrier. You always freak out over nothing. I'm fine. Well, it looks to me like you're doing fine. I guess we don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> For now. Yep. Come on. Let's get back to work. I'm guessing you didn't find a secret passage somewhere, huh? Nope. <sighs> I see. Yeah, he's so adorable. I'll go check up on the others then. Tenyoji. Keep an eye on them, alright? What, you think I need you to tell me that? I grinned and turned toward the exit. Where to go next? There was only one place I hadn't visited. Alright. The crew quarters! But we will save that for the next episode! Alright. So that was interesting. That was different. Uh, first we were having fun being sassy with uh, Tenmyoji and, and putting him in a corner. <laughs> he was totally cornered. Um, but yeah, that was a scary moment with Quark. Oh boy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch, where I stream every week. And also, follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!